why don't you come in so I can introduce you? Come here. Come on. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am here with Miley. Miley is Nick's family's dog, and she's so sweet. But today, I am going to be filming a bag dump. So if you see her like popping in and out of frame, that's why. But that's Miley. So today I am doing a bag dump for a backpacking trip that I have coming up soon. My mom, my sister, and I will be hiking a portion of the Appalachian Trail. Now, I talked about this a little on my Instagram and I've been getting a little feedback that it's not Appalachian, it's Appalachian. Right? <laughs> You probably don't have to say it as dramatic as I just did. But I am from Pittsburgh, and I genuinely think that Pittsburghers say it Appalachian. Anyways, regardless, you catch my drift. So we are going for a four-day, three-night trip, and we will be hiking around 40 miles. So I'm going to show you everything. Oh, sorry. I'm going to show you everything in my pack and just talk you through what I bring for multi-night trips. Everyone is a little bit different, so yeah. Here we go! I packed this all up real good and I'm destroying it just for you guys. So let's start from the outside. First thing that I have is, of course, my sleeping bag. This is a zero degree bag. It is down, so down does not stay, down does not stay warm when it is wet. So if you have a down sleeping bag, be aware of that and be prepared for rain. So I will get to how I will protect that in a little bit. But zero degree, down sleeping bag, very light. I have a Nalgene water bottle. This holds a liter, <laughs> so that's important. This bag is by a brand called Kafaru. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am a hunter. And this bag is obviously in camouflage and it's by a company that designs packs for hunting. So this pack is designed to haul out a lot of meat and it's, it may be set up a little bit differently than a pack that is designed specifically for recreational backpacking versus hunting backpacking, if that makes sense. But it is the 22 mag by Kafaru and I will leave a link down below. My bag has these beveled pockets on the side. So the first thing that I have is my stove. And this stove contains two little pots, like so. And as you can see, it's well loved. And then the top little burner looks like this. So it's a light, super lightweight packable stove that I will use to boil water for my food, which we will get to a little bit later, and you'll see the fuel canisters that I use with this in a bit as well. Next, ah, here. So this, oh, what is this? Oh my goodness. It's really nothing that interesting. <laughs> this is a large trash bag, and it is what I will use to cover my entire bag when it rains. So that's what I'll use for waterproofing. Uh, some toilet paper. Also put it in a plastic bag because if that stuff gets wet, then we're in a really bad situation. Tent stakes. Aww. So this is, <laughs> I did not know this was in here and I don't know why I said aww. But this is a judo tip that I use while I'm hunting for elk, but I use it on grouse, if that makes sense. So it's a tip that I put on my arrow for grouse. I just repeat myself over and over again. <laughs> That's what that is. I do not need to take that with me, and I will put that in a better place than the bottom of my pack. Next, I have poles for my tent, which is not very exciting. Poles that go with the tent. This is a pillow, and I'll actually pull this out to show you. This is really big. I probably would not recommend bringing a pillow in most circumstances unless 
you don't mind the extra weight and you have space or unless you have a lot of trouble sleeping without a pillow really I would recommend rolling up your puffy jacket or clothes or other things to help support your head and neck versus packing in a pillow but I am packing in this pillow because I do want to be comfortable Nick and I have been living on the road for five months ish and we just got back to civilization and I'm off to do this trip so I feel like I'm at a, a uh, <laughs> I'm at a point where I'm just, I want to be comfortable, you know? So I am bringing this along. This is what it looks like, and then you blow it up a little more. It's a really nice pillow. I will include links to all, or most at least, whatever I can find in the description below. Also, they do make packable pillows that are smaller than this, and I actually gave, I have a smaller one that I gave to my sister for this trip because I know how, I don't know, it's just big and bulky. So I took the larger pillow that has more weight and then I gave her the smaller pillow. And my mom said she didn't want a pillow, which I think is probably the smartest of them all, but I, I don't know, I'm bringing the pillow. There's one more pocket to get to before we go to the inside. And that's right here on the top and this is just filled with snacks. So I have, And there's still plenty of room in there, so I could add more. Now to the inside. <laughs> so this is my sleeping pad. This is the four person tent. And then all of this is my food. I'm not gonna go through all of this right now. If you want a like, you know, what food to bring while backpacking type of video, let me know but you catch the drift a lot of food and then i have my fuel canister in here this is quite a large fuel canister but it will be used to boil water for three people so i wanted to bring more another interesting note with this i find that when i am hunting and backpacking food is i don't want to say not important but it's the last thing that you're worried about when you're hunting because you're focused on hunting and normally dinner time like after the sun goes down and you are like making a fire or whatever and you're cooking that's really the only time that food becomes a thing whether you're by yourself or with other people but because we're backpacking for fun food becomes a much bigger part of it i'm imagining us hiking, sitting down for lunch, and really cooking. That's Miley, she wants to go. <laughs> cooking and enjoying a good lunch, and then hiking more, and then cooking and enjoying a good dinner, and then in the mornings, same thing. It becomes more about the overall experience, and food is such a big part of that. But when you're hunting, just make sure it's going to fuel you, and Kind of it in my opinion i don't know i was thinking about that yesterday as we were packing up all of our food i was like well, we have a lot of food but it'll be good it'll make it fun and enjoyable and although it does add more weight this is a fun trip not you know it doesn't have to be super serious the other thing in here that is not a food item is this little bowl it's a packable bowl so as you can see, it was flat and these buttons form an actual bowl. And it looks like this can hold a little over 16 fluid ounces. So I plan to use this to drink my coffee in the morning, to possibly eat oatmeal out of, although you can actually pour the boiling water directly into these bags and then eat them right out of the bag. So probably coffee and then like dinners and whatever. So I highly recommend because they're very easy to clean and obviously packable, weigh nothing. So I have some face wipes here, just enough for each day. 
a small little toothbrush. And one, I do have some things that are missing in here that I haven't put in yet. One of those is a small toothpaste for my toothbrush. Over here, I have a, another small trash bag for waterproofing and some paper towels. These have been in here for a long time. And I put them in there as like half in mind for cleanup, whether I'm cleaning my hands or cleaning my dish or whatever, half in mind for a fire starter if I need it, but I figure they're light and really aren't hurting anything in there. So not a bad thing to keep in there. And the final pocket, which is right here on the front, I have a headlamp. These headlamps are by Cyclops and Nick and I used a ton of these while we were living on the road. All different kinds, not just headlamps, but different flashlights and things. And they were so functional and useful because they had magnets on them. So like a flashlight would have a magnet on the back of it. You could stick it to anything metal, like we would typically put it on the hood of our stove and it kind of turned into a lantern because you could just stick it anywhere. They also had little hooks on them and they're super bright. Now, when the batteries die down, like any flashlight, they're not as bright, but we were so impressed. So I will definitely include that below. I also have a water bag and a filter. My mom and my sister will both have filters as well. So I'm only bringing one. It's not a bad idea to have a backup, but because I have other people, I don't, I don't think I need another backup on top of two other backups. You know what I'm saying? So I can fill this up with water and then drink straight from it. I will also fill this up with water and then filter it into my Nalgene. And another item that is missing is a water bladder. There's a nice sleeve back here. Or I will slide a big old water bladder because unlike backpacking in the West where in many cases you have beautiful crystal clear streams running down every drainage you cross in the East, <laughs> the Appalachian Trail, there is not clean, gorgeous water everywhere. There are specific water locations. To my understanding, this will be my first time hiking the trail, but to my understanding, when we find water, we need to really take advantage of that water because, you know, it may be 10 miles before your next opportunity at water. So that is that. I also have a lighter for fires and a knife. Let me put all this stuff back in and then I'll talk you through some of the other things that aren't in my pack that I need to throw in before we leave. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so here are some of the things that I'm missing that I don't have in the bag yet paracord which actually my mom is packing in her pack that paracord will be used to tie our food up i have actually never tied my food up while backpacking and hunting maybe that's a bad thing maybe i should do that so comment below if you're like <gasps> right now <laughs> but it's not something that i've done next <laughs> a medical kit my mom is carrying that if you have questions about what is in a medical kit let me know. Actually, on my Instagram, I asked if anyone had questions about backpacking and what you need to bring, etc. So I am going to go through those. So maybe I will get into that. We'll see. Maps, downloadable maps, printed maps. I don't have them in there, but they'll be here and there. I do have a external charger that I'll also bring for my phone and some extra clothes which won't be much. I'm definitely a fan of wearing the same thing for many days while you're backpacking, but you know, some clean stuff will be nice. Okay, 
So that is that. So now I'm going to answer some of the questions that the folks from my Instagram had. Are you bringing animal protection, bells, gun, bear spray, etc.? We went back and forth about whether I should carry or not. And ultimately, we decided not to carry a sidearm. But we will all have mace, which was my mom's idea, and I think it's a great idea. I'm not worried about any of the wildlife. If anything, I'm worried about a person. So, <laughs> if we were hiking somewhere in the West, I would be very adamant about bringing a sidearm. The camera died, of course, but you didn't miss much. Oh, she's sleepy now. Oh my. But anyway, I... I apologize to any extreme backpacker who is an ounce counter, meaning you count every ounce of each item in your pack to try and be as efficient and lightweight as possible. I think that is amazing. It's important to be efficient. I apologize that I'm a little more lax than that. And for all of the newbie backpackers, I hope that this provided you at least some kind of a blueprint of things to start to look at and consider. And if you have questions, please leave them below. If I can help anyone get into backpacking, whether it's recreationally or for hunting, oh, the camera's probably focused on her. <laughs> I, I want to help people do that because it is one of my favorite things to do. So that is it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Good girl, my lady.